But first, I want us to start with David Mudoka. David, good morning. We do know that the Hustler fund, uh, fund is being launched today. Tell us more about that. Well, indeed, after months of expectations, the Hustler Fund is set to be launched today by none other than President William Ruto. And as we can all recall, the promise to launch a Hustler Fund was perhaps uh, the signature pledge by the Kenya Kwanzaa administration as it sought uh, to drum up support for its bottom-up economic agenda and model. And so today, it is that day when a dream and a promise becomes a reality and from 10 a.m. today, President William Ruto is expected to lead a host of other national leaders in launching the fund. And so that particular event will be taking place at the yet-to-be-launched a green Park Terminus from 10 a.m. Uh, with President William Ruto, the main guest, of course. He will be accompanied by cooperatives and MSME's Development Cabinet Secretary, Simon Chelugui, who has in the past few weeks been um, uh, building up the tension, uh, building up uh, uh, for ahead of the launch of the Hustler Fund. And so, uh, it is, we are set to see one of the products of that fund being launched today, and that is the personal finance product where uh, any individual, so long as one is 18 years of age and above and is a holder of a Kenyan identity card, will be eligible for loans from 500 shillings to 50,000 shillings. And so uh, that is just one of the products that are in the Hustler Fund. And uh, just yesterday we did run uh, quite a detailed story on the Hustler Fund at 7 p.m. for Lucy Zama Hustler. And at 9 uh, p.m., uh, the Hustlers promise where we uh, delved deeper into the questions that a majority of the Hustlers have had on the Hustler Fund. And so today, it is quite a big day for the Kenya Kwanzaa administration and, of course, uh, for the Hustlers who will be seeing that product and that fund uh, be operational uh, from today. And so uh, we'll be looking and tra uh, training our eyes on that particular launch just to see uh, what more uh, the president and the cabinet secretary uh, will have to offer and will, what more information they will provide uh, regarding the Hustler Fund. Remember, there have been a number of questions, including how can one uh, borrow that fund, who is eligible, uh, including how much money one is entitled to, as well as when can one repay and how much uh, one uh, can repay. Uh, and that actually touches on the interest uh, rate that uh, is uh, attached to the Hustler Fund. And um, uh, as we saw during the campaigns, there was quite the impression uh, from the Kenya Kwanzaa leaders that this particular fund will be interest free and uh, there are actually clips uh, that we've seen even uh, president william ruto during uh, the series of uh, economic forums that they held in the various counties uh, in the build-up to the august 9th presidential contest creating the impression that this will be uh, an interest free fund but as we have seen in the past few months uh, that this would uh, be a cheap interest hustler fund actually uh, even uh, kenya kwanzaa leaders hailing it to be one of the few uh, single digit interest uh, funds and loans in the country. Uh, the interest is 8%. Uh, just even in our story yesterday, we did break down on that uh, annual interest rate of 8% translates to, let's say, one uh, borrows 1,000 shillings uh, with the 8% interest uh, fee, uh, then they will be supposed to repay back uh, 1,000 shillings and 80 shillings. And should they uh, go for the entire 50,000 shillings, uh, then they will be having to repay 54,000 shillings. And so it is quite a big day. Our eyes are on that fund being launched, of course, are taking place at the Green Park Terminus. And definitely, uh, it is quite a big day, of course, uh, for the Kenya Kwanzaa administration, uh, even uh, as it seeks to implement and fulfill one of its key promises within um, its first 100 days in office. But for Tia, uh, we do have more political happenings taking place in the country today. Of course, after a temporary halting of the uh, vetting of uh, principal secretaries, that particular exercise that is being conducted by the National Assembly is expected uh, to kick off again today. And it is expected to be done uh, expeditiously. Remember, Parliament is supposed to go on a long recess, a long break from 2nd December, and that is actually at the end of the week. And so this means uh, they are quite in a race against time to ensure that every 
Perma principal secretary rather is vetted and grilled and they is measured uh, to see whether they meet the threshold before 2nd of December. And as, as we did see communication from the Speaker of the National Assembly and that is Speaker Moses Wetangula, he said uh, that plans are in place to ensure that this particular vetting comes to an end uh, by uh, tomorrow, that is on Thursday. And so just looking at the notable names that will be appearing before the various committees of the National Assembly for vetting among them is Belio Kipsang, who is uh, the PS nominee for the State Department for Basic Education. Of course, another key person who will be appearing is former Langata MP Nixon Korir, who will be appearing uh, as the PS nominee uh, for the State Departments of Lands and Physical Planning. Another name is Charles Hinger, who is the PS nominee for Housing and Urban Development. Jonathan Mueke, who uh, just recently vied but lost uh, in the Kitui gubernatorial uh, election, will be appearing uh, as the PS nominee for Sports and Arts. And uh, just one final name, that is that of Edward Kisiangandi, uh, who is the PS nominee for Broadcasting and Telecommunication. So uh, we are going to see what will be taking place there, uh, even amid even reports that this particular vetting is more or less like a rubber stamp because um, uh, it it is believed that the names uh, that have been fronted there, uh, all, the, all of them 100% will be successfully vetted. And so uh, we are going to see whether uh, some of the issues uh, will be coming up, touching on a number of PS nominees, and maybe whether this will be stumbling blocks uh, ahead of their anticipated entry into office and to begin their work. And away from that, uh, today was quite a day when the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya coalition had planned to begin uh, its mass actions against uh, the removal of four IEBC commissioners. And uh, we did see yesterday the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya leaders led by the opposition chief Raila Odinga say that they had postponed uh, that particular those particular rallies until 7th December just basically to pave way uh, for the conclusion of national exams. And so uh, today was quite the day uh, and uh, and as we saw it, it, it was quite a day when we, we were set to see two big parallel events taking place. The Hustler Fund launched by President William Ruto as well as that particular rally at the Kamokunji grounds by the Azimiolo Moja One Kenya leaders. And so uh, it is quite a day when, uh, of course, that did not happen and we are going to see the Hustler Fund project take center stage even as it was uh, discussed uh, largely yesterday during uh, the cabinet meeting that was chaired by President William Ruton. So uh, the two, the vetting of PSS as well as the Hustler Fund launch is among the top political stories that will be dominating uh, the political sphere for the rest of the day for Tia and we have our eyes on those and we'll be even divulging more information and telling our viewers what transpires in those events in our subsequent bulletins. Right, David Mudoka there, of course, just telling us what's happening on the political diary. Clearly, it's jam-packed today. But I want us to now go to Nakuru County and talk to Sakali Dalmas. Dalmas, good morning. Of course, it's the last day.